Hey friends, Ryan it here and welcome back to our work on this Blue Max machine. It is like 9.30 in the morning on Sunday, May 14th, 2023. So I don't know if I showed this last time or not, but on like every cabinet, you usually got to flip it over and make sure the bottom's okay. So this was pretty good shape. I just had to glue a bunch of stuff back together, put some clamps on it. And it's dried overnight. It should be good to take off. So what we're going to do today is flip it back over and make a new back and fix this corner. So I've got these mending plates here from Lowe's or wherever uh, that are made for just this purpose, actually. But I bought them to uh, so you take the top of your shelves, like bookshelves and stick them on the edges and screw them together so that they and then screw them all to the wall so that it's one shelving unit especially when you have kids it's important we got a variety of screws here i think these are the ones i was using for them uh, but we got to make sure that it's not going to interfere with the leg plates so let me flip it over do a little work and we'll show you what we're thinking all right so, here's a little board. So this channel is obviously cut out for this, and this is matches the back here. We'll show you in a second. But see, it just sits in there, and then we'll use Bondo or body putty or whatever to fix it. Turn you around here. Let me show you. Thank you. So obviously you can't really I'll put glue on there but it won't really hold it but on the edges. So we set this in here like this and you take these mending plates And then they just go like this. Maybe one on the corner, one like this. Um, should have thought this through a little better. So the corner braces here, you can see, go like so. So we can't really put one right against the edge, unfortunately. And then edge bracket, I need like a fourth hand here. Here and one down there, and then we'll just rely on this to hold it flush, or we'll put one on there to hold it while it's being set in place, and while the back comes in, we'll take one off, and then we'll nail this dude back in there, and it should hold it just fine, I would think. So. There's that. So let's make a back for it. And we'll come back. All right. We got her going. We can cut the same channel for the board, the bottom out. And then we cut the grooves for the side out. It's not the same joint that it had originally, obviously. Uh, but, I mean, it should be good enough for the girls we're dating, right? And we have this will fit here and we'll screw it all together and glue it and everything. The only problem is it's 
see it. This little gap right here. I'll measure it, see if I can make a, I don't know, that's pretty thin. Be able to stick a spacer in there or something. We'll try it just to give it the extra strength. And I also made the parts for the neck here. We'll put that together too. All right, let me make that, get to glue, and I'm gonna kind of sand the edges here of the existing boards a little bit, rough them up, clean them up, and we'll get it going. I'm gonna use glue, obviously, and if you watch the video where I built the head, I use these little screws. They're like self drilling, tapping or whatever and everything, and you just drill it, and it countersinks itself a little bit, and then you just fill it in with wood putty or whatever. Pretty slight. And I'll get the brad nailer out, and we'll put the corner braces in, put the, you know, reassemble it completely, and we'll be good to go. Then we can start cleaning her up, making stencils, and get ready to repaint. Not bad, right? Not bad. Okay, people, we're starting to look like a pinball machine again. So if all else fails, just nail the absolute piss out of it. Looks ugly now, but we'll fix it. All right, and the head even kind of sort of fits. The holes aren't quite far enough apart, but it should be able to work. It's not tightened down, obviously, that's why it's tilted forward. Once it gets the mech board in there, it'll probably, it'll sit flat because the weight's towards the back. And the T-nut's not in the, that one. It fell out. But yeah, she looks pretty good. Um, got the neck in there back on, got the head rebuilt. All right, well, let me take it apart before it glues itself together before we're ready to, and we'll close this out. All right, got the garage all cleaned up, or good enough. So, we'll let this dry and come back to it hopefully next weekend. We'll make stencils and make it pretty with wood filler and stuff kind of like we did here and then we'll sand it all and make it smooth and it'll look a lot better although I mean it's kind of the back so make it look presentable but not too worried about it uh, feels pretty solid now we got also redrill the holes I tried not to put any screws or nails or anything but I got these handy little jigs I printed off for this project that we'll eventually get back to. To do that, and they look like they all line up, or at least the back ones do. So, uh, someone asked where I got this cart right here. eBay, right? Search for like, search for like pinball cart or something. Just don't make a rookie mistake and leave it elevated when you're painting like I did, because that's not good for the cylinder. Um, works fine still, but I'd imagine once or twice doing that and it won't. All right, well, wish me luck and we'll get back to this soon. Oh, and I wanted to, oh, I got to put this away before I lose it. Um, you know, these take forever to restore and I've heard my buddy Vic Camp up there. If you don't subscribe to his channel, you probably should because he's a lot better than I am at this crap. Uh, yeah, Vic Camp guy up in Jersey I think he's got a nice nice godly wedge head collection got sidetracked from what I was gonna say oh right yeah he takes about a hundred hours to restore a machine and he buys the really nice like primo low uh all original you know good condition ones <laughs> he puts like a hundred hours into them so I have put if you're curious 
I've been adding them up. This is the first time I've done this because I didn't really want to know, but 25 and a half hours so far into this. Um, I figured it'd be around 100, if I'm being honest. Uh, it should go a little faster now because this woodworking and I are still figuring each other out, but it's, let's just say this went a lot faster than that. And then the back door on this didn't take, took about 20 minutes, whereas usually it would take forever. But we'll figure that out. Another pro tip is Harbor Freight has these little magnetic tool holders. I got a couple, and then I got a couple more somewhere that I need to hang up. They're, I don't know, five, 10 bucks. They're awesome. Um, you slap your tools on there. <laughs> you don't have to dig through this mess of shit to find them. Anyway, keep it real. And we'll see you next time. We're eventually going to get into this. So we'll see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching.